What's up guys, we're looking at the Mars 400. This is a wireless HDMI video transmission system. This allows you to plug your camera into the transmitter and then on the receiver, you can see that video footage wirelessly. Now, when you really think about wireless video transmission, it is really quite amazing to be able to take a live feed from a camera and transmit that over airwaves to a specific receiver and to display that information just as you would see it on the other side. It's almost as you're looking into a portal. So here I have the Mars 400 transmitting the camera I have set up in my backyard to the TV in my office and it's also transmitting to my phone simultaneously and there's about four walls in between me and the camera and there's no interference at all. The app does have some handy built-in features like waveform, histogram, focus, zebras, frame, magnify, false uh, color, and it even has a 3D LUT. I haven't really done any experimenting with the 3D LUT, but that is uh, an option you have there. All right, guys, I'm gonna do a quick demo of me setting up. It's pretty simple. It's a uh, plug and play. It really doesn't get much easier than how easy it is, I guess. So, then after we set this up, we'll go ahead and do a range test. So, I got an HDMI cable for, this is gonna go to the camera, and then I got another longer HDMI cable right here that I will plug into this monitor right here. I'm going to set this up on a tripod and then I'm going to leave the camera I'm recording on in the car and we'll kind of do a range test. So. So I can transmit to this monitor, but I can also transmit to a like an iPad or an iPhone. You'll need to download an app. It's called Hollyview. And what you'll do is you'll once you have this on, let me go ahead and connect that. But once you have it on, there's a little uh, code right there and when you bring up the app it'll bring up like a scanner and you'll just scan and it will ask if you want to join the network and that's how you would connect with that Go ahead and turn it on. There's just an on-off switch on both of them. On-off switch. Go ahead and turn the camera on. Turn on the monitor. Let's 
Oh, and my monitor doesn't have built-in speakers, so I brought this cord and a speaker. I was gonna see if this would work. And that way you can hear the audio from this as well. So plug that in. And you can see we're already connected. And I'll have to plug this in. Oh, it's not the right cord. Okay, that's not gonna work. I need to get a different cord. But it does transmit audio, but we'll just do a video test right now. Um, and then if I wanted to connect with my phone, Again, let me just pull this off and I'll just scan this right here. It's giving me a little trouble right now. I see what happened. Okay, so my phone was connected to the Bluetooth speaker. Let me turn that down. And that's where the sound was coming from. Okay. So now I have it transmitting to both the monitor and to my phone. I'm not sure if you can see that through the camera. Let's go ahead and pull this off. I'm going to set this up on a different tripod. Put this, I'll probably just end up closing the trunk so that way the sun doesn't. Get the glare. Set my phone up below it. Let's see here. Let me see what it looks like. I might have to just close this tailgate here. Let's see if that does any better. Okay, I'll go ahead and I'll turn up my phone so that way you can actually hear some audio. Deal with the squealing until I get away so there's no interference. Okay. So let's just go ahead and do a range test. We'll go ahead and go 400 feet. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, Six, eight, seven nine. eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 56, 57, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 65, 69, 69, Okay, so this is about 400 feet from the, from the car. I got some trees. There's a little bit of interference. Let's walk around these trees, see if we get any cutouts here.
All right. Take a walk down here by the river. Everything is frozen. All right. back and it looks like my phone either died or went to sleep so there's really not too much to these on the back is where you put the battery it's got this little button right here that will lock the battery into place and then you can put the battery in they both have HDMI in and then it has the HDMI loop HDMI in, HDMI loop, and then on this one it has HDMI out, HDMI out too. Both of them can be ran off the wall adapter. It does only come with one wall adapter though, and then it's lock threading so it just screws right in there. On this side you got a part for upgrade, and then the on off switch. This turns on and off. The antennas do remove, just to break down to a smaller size and you turn them on it'll show you the channel it says no video because I have no video plugged into it right now we have some uh, reception indicators right there to change the channel you just push on up or down on the arrows that's basically it so you just plug it in and they just connect it, they're super easy to use they both have mounts on the bottom, so you can connect them to the quarter 20 thread, quarter 20 on that one as well. So there you go, the Mars 400, super easy to use, does exactly what it claims to do. On a side note, it would be nice to see if they can make an app for the, like my iMac, so I could stream it to my iMac and live stream that directly to YouTube. Uh, that would be cool to see, but besides that, it does work great, and uh, that's that. Thanks for watching.